flaming cliffs, tropical islands, and carbon brake dust are just some of the new releases to grace the simulation world this week. Hi there, folks. My name's NovaWing24, and welcome to the Nova app, your one-stop location for all your simulation release news and goings-on from the week that was. So here we are on a Sunday, the 14th of July, 2024, for another action-packed episode, and we're going to jump straight into it with the latest aircraft released for Microsoft Flight Simulator, with the release from the team over at Red Wing Sim of their continuing ability and resolution to recreate the years gone by with the creation and the release of the Bugatti EB100P for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So the Bugatti, uh, Bugatti more commonly associated with uh, very, very fast and high performing uh, race cars, uh, was also once upon a time dabbled in the world of aeronautical design. Uh, and their efforts for that was the EB100P, which was a aircraft designed for a as a racing aircraft, uh, but was intended uh, possibly to go into production as a fighter aircraft. Sadly, the real aircraft never actually graced the skies, uh, with its development being cut short by the start of the Second World War, uh, and the airframe being hidden away uh, until it was rediscovered after the Second World War, um, but sadly, it was never to grace the skies. So, the team over at Red Wing have attempted to recreate this aircraft and bring it to life in the sim by giving a faithful reproduction of the 1938 design uh, with its Bugatti power plant. So this is a highly detailed rendition of the aircraft as they imagined it would appear with an authentic flight controls uh, and a flight model based on a reproduction of the aircraft, a recreation of the aircraft that was attempted to be created a few years ago. Uh, includes uh, custom coating of uh, pneumatic and hydraulic circuits, uh, custom uh, tank and canopy jettison animations, automatic systems, a number of race liveries, as well as a uh, hypothetical uh, military version with a uh, weapon and gun sight. So if you want to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for 35 US dollars or your regional equivalent available now from Sim Markets. Moving on into scenery releases now, the team over at Clifford Designs has once again cre created a tropical paradise for us to visit in the sim uh, with the release of their rendition of French Polynesia. Uh, so this gives an improvement project uh, um, on the base visuals provided by the sim including a number of custom uh, areas, custom terrain features, as well as a custom POI models. Includes a whole heap of uh, new places for us to explore, including hotels, boats, and remote helipads. So for those who are very much into uh, low and slow or into frantic palm tree flying, you will find yourself very much at home with the stunning visuals and recreation of the beautiful French Polynesian islands. Now, if you wanted to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you pick this one up for 30 US dollars or original equivalent available now from Contrail. Continuing on with scenery releases, the team over at Creative Mesh has created a new little remote bush strip for us to visit with the release of OU3 Mahoney Creek. So a small little uh, a bush strip located on a plateau above Middle Fork Salmon River. Uh, this is only a few minutes away from a previously uh, released uh, airport from them, uh, Thomas Creek and Indian Creek. So if you're wanting to uh, go for a little bit of a hop and continue on your exploration here of Oregon, you can definitely continue on with this run. Uh, so it includes uh, high definition uh, objects, uh, animated wind socks, various different um, detritus to bring to life this small little remote strip. Uh, and overall, just continuing on with a scene, you know, a group of uh, ideal that I like with so giving us different remote places to explore. Now, if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for six US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Orbix Directs. Moving to an airport that's a little larger, the team over at TAI Designs, or sorry, TAI Models, sorry, uh, have released their latest airport with the release of Cairo International Airport. Uh, so obviously, funnily enough, we're doing what it says on the tin. It is the main airport serving Cairo, of course, you know, the home for having anyone heading to the pyramids. Uh, and this gives us a high detail rendition of the airport as it appears at the end of 2023, uh, with all airport buildings modeled, uh, with high definition text used, used throughout, custom ground policy used throughout uh, all up-to-date taxiways, aprons, and runway elevation have also been included with custom jetway support. And if the main terminal is fully detailed with its interior, uh, but they have not skimped on the exterior and the ground poly and overall that is looking pretty damn good. Now, if you wanted to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you pick this one up for 23 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Orbix Direct. 
and uh, so another aircraft release. Oh, sorry, I've almost almost forgot another another aircraft release here. Uh, so the team over at Vitavia are back uh, with releasing another one of their uh, classic aircraft, but this time convert, brought over for Microsoft Flight Simulator with the release of the Handley Page Hamden. So the Hamden was a, a light bomber and also ended up serving later on as a torpedo bomber used by the British forces during the Second World War uh, and was a definitely an iconic aircraft for how it looked, that's for sure. Uh, very much looked like a bit like a suitcase, I think it did anyway. Uh, so if you want to pick up this uh, twin-engine bomber, so this twin-engine twin bomber uh, has a high-definition uh, custom sound set uh, for all the various engine sounds, including switch clicks, co cockpit um, sounds and animations. Uh, includes wor basic working automatic controls and a working Lorentz instrument for your radio navigation. Uh, includes automated uh, leading edge slats, slats for one of the variants, uh, realistic crew figures, custom animations, uh, and a variety of other features. So overall looking pretty standard for as a team from Batavia. Uh, so visually it is looking pretty good actually. So I'm probably going to say it's one of the better ones I've seen, better port overs that I've seen Batavia do. Uh, so overall hopefully we can see that continuing on from there for the future. Now, if you wanted to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you pick this one up for twenty US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now from Sim Market. And finally, rounding out the Microsoft Flight Simulator release news, the team over at Parallel 42 have released their latest immersion pack with the release of their 777 immersion pack. So this is, uh, so Parallel 42 in their previous guys as old prop simulations was very much known for uh, immersion packs for specific aircraft and it def definitely was how they came to my attention many, many, many years ago. Uh, so this is a, uh, this is a sort of continuation of their idea with giving us the 777 immersion pack. Now, obviously, we saw this previously. They released the A320 immersion pack. Uh, and this one does the same treatment for the 777. It includes a number of features, including uh, improved APU heat blur, uh, cloud effects, cloud illuminations, updated contrails, chin vortices, uh, condensation effects, including engine condensation effects, uh, fuel jettison, hot brakes, smoke, skid marks, and Elmo's fire, uh, as well as uh, the uh, inclusion of carbon brake dust effects, which is just the amount of detail that the team of Parallel 42 uh, go to for their immersion packs never ceases to amaze me. It really, really does not. Uh, but worth noting, though, however, folks, uh, is that if you are looking at picking this one up, you do have to have the base sim effects package from Parallel 42 installed in order to make use of the Triple Seven immersion pack. Uh, so as long as you have that, you'll be able to pick this one up for 15 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Parallel 42. Moving out of Microsoft Flight Simulator now, moving into the world of X-Plane, uh, the team over at MXI Designs have released their latest airport with the release of their rendition of Odebo Airport in Sweden. Uh, so this is a highly detailed rendition of the airport uh, as it appears at the end of 2023 with all airport buildings modelled, uh, a basic interior of the first panels uh, of the of the main terminal, uh, but otherwise focusing on the externals, uh, animated flags, custom 3D passengers, and custom photoreal imagery for the airport and surrounding area. Um, overall, looking not too bad, actually. So, you know, got custom signage and everything else. So, overall, looks pretty good for X-Plane. So, I have to say that one. If you want to pick this one up, pick this one up for 11 US dollars or your original equivalent, available now from xplane.org. Hulk. Moving into the world of combat simulators now, the team over at DCS have rebooted their old Flaming Cliffs, which of course for many of us, for many of you who may not remember back that far, which is how which is how DCS started in the first place. Uh, so they've rebooted the Flaming Cliffs package um, to update it with some a new aircraft. So they basically they have uh, this. As far as I can tell, this doesn't really improve anything of the uh, original Flaming Cliffs aircraft. This is a focus on updating on providing new Flaming Cliffs aircraft, which is the F-5E Tiger II, the F-86F Sabre, and the MiG-15 BIS uh, Faggot. So that is the update of this uh, package here. So you essentially get three brand new aircraft um, done with the FCS design philosophy of actually, you know, making it more accessible to people. Though I do believe it is a clickable cockpit rather than a um, hotkey only cockpit. Um, I, I 
believe that's the case. I may be wrong. I don't currently own it. I haven't upgraded to it to that package yet. Um, so if I am wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. But as, as far as I am aware, it, is, it does actually offer a clickable cockpit, which is a nice change for Flaming Cliffs aircraft, that's for sure. Now, if you are a new user and have never owned the Flaming Cliffs package before, you're looking at a new purchase price of 60 US dollars. If, however, you are an existing owner of the original Flaming Cliffs package, uh, FC3 package, then this isn't there is an upgrade path for you for 10 US dollars or your original equivalent available from DCS World or Steam. Moving out of the flight simulation world now and rounding out the Nova app with the permanent way, the team over at uh, MRW via Dovetail Games have released their latest freight wa wagon pack for the release of the Himara's Freight Wagon Pack. I am sure I have absolutely butchered the pronunciation of that one. Anyway, so this is a new design set of wagons developed in the late 1990s of two-part sliding wagons uh, for de designing designed to transport uh, bulky but lightweight parts in the automotive industry. So it includes uh, a number of different uh, wagons, including with each with a different set of color schemes. Uh, it allows you to recreate a number of freight lines throughout the train simulator world. Also includes two scenarios for the Bahn Strecke Strasbourg Karlsberg route uh, for your pleasure if you do own that route as well. Now, if you're wanting to add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for 10 US dollars or your original equivalent available now on Steam. And that now rounds out the Nova app for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by following me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch. Just search NovaWing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.